So number one then, the first question in the 2015 advanced higher maths, a binomial expansion. Let me think, oh good, a wee binomial expansion. Let's just go through the pattern, but that's probably about the worst one you could get here. They've gone to power five, and you're not going to be demonstrating your ability to carry a binomial expansion. You'll be demonstrating your patience and your observation skills and keeping track of all the wee numbers and signs. This is going to be a paste. If there was any one question I'd probably get wrong, it'll be this one. Trying to keep track of all the multitudes of bits of microarithmetic. Right, what have we got? It's good. There's power five, so there's going to be six terms. And all these terms are going to look exactly the same. I think I'll just start way over there. There'll be the binomial coefficient. There'll be the first term. There'll be the second term with various powers. So I've got to put that down six times. It's like doing lines. What did we do wrong to have to do this? In fact, I can see already I've got this wrong. That's not going to fit across. Ah, dearie me. That's only my first four terms. I'll get five terms in doing this. And then I'll have to pop it down here. That's pathetic. Right, so, just to try and keep track, I'll do it one step at a time. I must be good, I must be good. You do all the I's first. Oops, I'm even getting that wrong now. I'm so annoyed. Five, zero, five, one, five, two, five, three. Five four, can't read and write anymore. Five five, then that's the x squared upon three. What's the point? X squared upon. Why couldn't they just ask the question? Find the greatest term. Well, no, not that one particularly. Not that would even be, even that would be better than this. X squared upon three. X squared. Upon, if you're good at multitasking while you're doing this, you could get your knitting out, couldn't you? And just do that at the same time. Negative two upon x. Negative two upon x. Negative 2 upon x, negative 2 upon x. Look at that, I don't even want to write anymore. Negative 2 upon x, negative 2 upon x, negative 2 upon x. I'm doing my 8s, I don't know what, what's going on, what's going on. Upon 8. Right, those are, there's the six terms right now. Now get the powers in. So it starts off, this is going to start at the top and work its way down. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And that's going to start the other way around, the same as that. Bottom number in the binomial coefficient there, that, oops, combination, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's at the first mark. Now, I have to write out what it all means. Well, that's 1. Be better off taking the, co the coefficients to the front. So that's a over 3 to the power 5. I'll just put it in anyway, and a negative to the zero, and we'll sort out the power, that's power 10, first term done. 5, but it's an over 3 to the power 4, and now we're creeping up with negative 2 to the power 1, but now it'll be 8, take away 1, which is 7. Now it goes to a 10, but it'll be over 3 to the power 3, the patterns are still here, but I feel less stressed now, I think, because it's taken up less room. That goes up to 2, and that'll be x to the power. Now it's 6 take away 2, which is 4. You know, so they're just dropping 3 at a time. So you can keep track of that. Then it's 10 again. It's this one I'm at, and isn't it? Although you can see that, 5, 4, 3, 2, because it'll be that. So that must be up to 3, and that must be down to 1 then. Because uh -huh. I've got, which term was that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, that was this term here, because that's... Oh, this, that's a mistake. That's a b squared. That's right. 4 take away 3 is 1. <sighs> 5 over. And now it'll be 3 to the power 1. That'll be negative 2 up to the power 4. Now that's going to have to drop to negative 2, because it's going to be... that put that cubed in again. That's squared. That's 2 take away 4. And just missed this last bit. And that's back to a 1 over 3 to the 0 times negative 2 to the 5 of, and it's the full x to the negative 5. So you can quickly check so far. So is that worth the second mark? You can quickly check it's still on target because I've got my 3's going 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. I've got the negative 2's going 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I've got the powers of x dropping in 3's 10, 7, 4, 1, negative 2, negative 5. And there'll be no cancelling, luckily, because none of these numbers have got any factors in common. So, I just need to know them. That's a 1. Well, that's 81, so times 3 is 243. So the first one is 1 over 243 x to the 10. At last, they're starting to come out of the oven. This is going to be a negative, and it's a 10 over an 81. 
x to the 7. This is going to go to a positive, that's a 4 times a 10 is a 40 over, and that will be a 27, x to the 4. This is back to a negative, that's 8, so that's an 80 over 9, and that's just x. Now that's going up to, where are we? that's going to be a positive now. So we've got a 16 times 5 is an 80, just over a 3, but it's of x to the negative 2. So I'll just draw that line and put a x squared underneath. And the last one will be a negative, and that's a 32. And there's only a 1 underneath, but the x to the negative 5, so the x to the 5 can go underneath. <sighs> I think that's it. But you may have done better. <laughs>